Hi, this is Chris Ryan with Luxury Lifestyles, and today I'm here with a very good friend of mine, Will Tao. He's an immigration lawyer, and we brought him here because we've been getting several questions from our neighbors down south. They've been asking us, what does it take to become a Canadian citizen or even a permanent resident? So without any further ado, and we want to jump right into the questions today, we picked three out of several questions, and this is the first one. What do we need to do today as an American citizen coming over to Canada to, be, to at least gain permanent residence? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you should think about is whether your intention to come to Canada is truly permanent or if it's temporary. If it is permanent, check if you qualify under the several programs available. Um, and if you don't qualify, you may need to take steps to get temporary status first. Number two, now being American coming over to Canada versus other people from other countries coming over, I believe it's a lot easier. Is this true? United States citizens have so many options for them. Um, among them are options under NAFTA to get a work permit. Also for permanent residency, their English skills and their education will be an asset. So the last question is, once somebody has a permanent residence, what does it take to become a full-fledged Canadian citizen? So it's interesting you ask that question. As it stands, the law right now requires an individual who's a permanent resident to be here four years out of six years before they can apply for citizenship. However, the law is actually undergoing some change right now. And by next year, it should be changing to three years out of four years. So I hope you've gotten a lot of information out of today. And if you want more, please go to luxurylifestyles.ca and check out our preferred partners. We have mortgage brokers, financial planners, real estate lawyers, immigration lawyers, and we'd love to help you. Thank you for watching.